Hey, hey, hey! Hope everybody is doing great tonight. Um, I did it. I watched Civil War. Uh, I watched it with my uh, my little girl today. We uh, we sat down and watched it, uh, and uh, I asked my daughter. I said, "Hey, what what part of this did you like?" And her response was. I liked the girl that was beating up the bad guys, so she liked Black Widow, and I liked the eagle guy. <laughs> so I said, so you like the falcon? And she says, yes, he was cool. So <laughs> through the eyes of a four-year-old, she enjoyed the action and the craziness of the female character kicking butt, and then she liked the... Uh, uh, the Falcon and his cool wings and stuff like that. So, you know, that was, uh, it was enjoyable. There was some scenes in there that, uh, you know, she didn't understand, which was, was all right. Cause you know, she's four and she just liked all the craziness going on. Um, overall, I enjoyed the movie. I do believe that there was some, uh, some lows that could have been avoided uh but you know i can understand where they were coming from they were trying to build the storyline they had a lot to get in there uh get a couple of new characters introduced into the whole thing uh making sure that some of the other characters got some spotlight stuff like that so uh you know i, I definitely enjoyed the movie it wasn't my favorite of all the Marvel movies, which I've heard from a lot of people. I totally respect that, though. I mean, if people are saying that, then that's awesome, because that just means that it did its job and it was entertaining for everybody. So, I got the, I dug the hell out of Spider-Man being introduced. I've always been a long-time sp fan of Spider-Man, so, you know, um, that was definitely cool. I do really like the fact that they've made him a lot younger. Um, and they've made it where he is like very, very early on with his abilities. I really enjoyed that aspect because it gives us a large time frame, large timeline of him growing up so we could really see some uh, future with that character and... As long as they continue to do it right, I think we can see something cool. Um, you know, so that was cool. I, I'm on the fence with the Black Panther. Um, I did like the fact that they added the Black Panther into the ser into the show. Uh, I thought that was cool. But there was parts of him that, uh, I don't know, I wasn't like, totally 100% into it, you know, so, you know, that's just my thoughts, there was, there was some cool stuff in it happening, um, I liked the back and forth, I liked the struggles of the main characters and having to, uh, be torn on their sides, Captain America sticking to his guns and feeling that he should be invested in people and, trust in what what he sees and what he's thinking and what you know what's going on tony you know being driven by guilt basically over what has happened in the past thinks that there should be consequences and there should be checks and balances um i could see the uh, merit for both sides of that but you know it was a great it was, it was a great movie to uh, sit down and enjoy. So I give it probably about a seven, I'd say, uh, out of 10. So, you know, it's definitely one of those movies you could take your kids to to uh, let them enjoy the action sequences and whatnot. Um, so, you know, uh, yeah, seven, I think is a, is a fair grade on, on that movie. But again, that's my opinion. You guys have yours, so, um, you know, we'll be checking out the uh, Batman versus Superman next, so I'll let you know what I think about that one. 
Still want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you're thinking about the, the uh, Civil War. You know, let me know what your favorite scenes were. All right, so let's get after it. Got some more awesome books. Pick these up on the free comic book day. I did not buy these from a shop. I bought these from an individual. Um, I bought other stuff from him, so I knew it was going to be, you know, some cool stuff. Uh, Nova number one. Awesome book as always. You know, that's definitely a good one to grab. Um, this one's an awesome cover. It's uh, definitely going to need some work. It's uh, got a big bend on the front and whatnot. It's real dirty and wood. So, you know, but whatever. It's a cool cover for sure. Hawkman issue number 24. Great book there as well. Um, this one was... Uh, Early Batman is always awesome. So, you got some cool stuff definitely happen on this cover. So, issue number 217, you got Alfred on the cover. You got the Batmobile in the background, the cave, and you got Robin's suit hanging. And, and uh, you know, Batman storming off in a huff, basically saying, you're going to seal that shit up, man. <laughs> um... Okay, so this one's pretty cool. Issue number 84 of the Justice League. Talking about how could some primitives take over the most powerful superheroes. That one's awesome. Oh, that one's... Uh, Action Comics number 387. Whole soup's dying on the table there. Pretty cool. Hulk, issue number 137, Abomination, fighting over, uh, fighting with him, uh, Submariner number 40, you got Spidey on the cover as well, this is a good one to have, and I've actually mentioned this one in a previous video, I think, uh, Submariner number 35. It's the uh, part of the prelude to the Defenders, which I believe right back here is the first part. It's issue 34, so I've got both parts now, which will be important to have in the very near future. High grade issue, well, higher grade copy of Beyond the Unknown, issue number two. This one is a real sharp copy. It's at least a 7, 7.5, maybe a 7, strong 7. Um, Firestorm number 34. This is the uh, new Killer Frost. Good, uh, good issue to have there. This one, I love the cover of this book. It's an early Batman as well. Issue 286, you got the Joker fighting the uh, doppelganger Joker. Um, the Joker gives a old Bats a good smack across the faces. Not now, Bats. Uh, I gotta kill off this dude, and then I'll get to you. <laughs> Classic Joker right there, right? Um, was very pumped to get this one. X-Men issue number 95. Third... Parents of the new team, um, and uh, character dies in this one. Mr. Miracle, issue number three, some Kirby, King Kirby goodness there. I love this cover here. This is one of my favorites. Hulk taking on the thing. Fantastic Four, issue number 112. I don't love that cover, man. Just a beat down about to happen. Then the uh, Teen Titans issue number 44. So, some uh, some very solid books that I picked up on that uh, that actually did happen later on 
in the evening on the free comic book day, so I was very pleased with those. And, uh, you know, definitely a good thing. I gotta work on that one later. Um, some uh, speculation for you guys. This isn't even really speculation as as much as uh, investment tips for you guys as far as books that are going. They're already solid books, uh, but they have growth that is going to come in the future. Um, so Alias Number 1 is still a great book with some upside to it. So... Jessica Jones, we know she's got the show. We're going to start seeing more crossovers here in the near future. And I believe Jessica Jones is actually going to be a part of the, uh, the Defenders show when that hits. So there's going to be some crossovers. And as that happens, there's going to be more and more hype on those first appearances of those characters. That one is still an affordable book as it is right now i mean i know it's getting up there but it's definitely got some upside to it so you can still find them and you can still find them in the wild i've actually found them um in uh back issues and whatnot on uh, places like half price book um and things like that uh hell i bought i bought uh a one through five set in a bundle of 10 comics for eight bucks one time. And that was probably three months back, something like that. So they're still out there and people still don't understand what it is. So, you know, you'll find them. Um, another solid book that has a great upside is Strange Adventures number 205, The First Dead Man. Um, it's rumored that there is actually going to be uh, an appearance in Justice League Dark. And also there's already uh, in the works um, a standalone movie for Dead Man. So, you know, it's definitely something to look for. High grade is the key on that one. So if you can find anything like a 9.0 or higher, that definitely has some upside to it because... Once you get less than a 9.0, that book actually looks kind of rough because of the uh, the way the cover is and everything. So, you know, just saying. Um, Giant Size Defenders number three. Uh, there's speculation around the cover, or one of the characters on in the issue. Um, that I'm not so much saying invest in as much as I am. It is very, very, very hard to find a high-grade copy of that book. Anything over a 9.0 is really hard to find. Um, so, if you do find one, and you can manage to find one somewhere around an 8, an 8.5, 8 and then get it pressed and bumped up to a 9 or higher, that's probably where you want to be at. Uh, it's... It's a book to look for because with all the Defender stuff and everything else and the fact that those square bound books are really hard to find in high grade and the Defenders was a, it wasn't as popular of a group um, as a, of a series so it was already low print run and then on top of the square bound and all that it's just a, a good upside on that book so. There you go guys, uh, some speculation and uh, investing tips for you. Um, let's see. Um, I think that will probably do it for the night. Um, oh, here we go. Hearthstone, if you didn't start playing it yet, check it out. I uh, played some rounds the other night, got my ass handed to me. Uh, because I do suck at it, because, you know, it's not normally something I jump on, and I'm a newbie. I'm a noob! Uh, if it was like a, uh, run and gun type thing, or, or, oh, 
Pardon me. Didn't mean to do that. If it was a run and gun type thing or a hack and slash, I could hold my own quite well. But you get those uh, those types of games where you actually have to build up everything and uh, get your power levels up there. It takes a little while to get uh, used to it all. And uh, the strategy is uh, definitely key. And, you know, when you haven't been playing it that long, it's, it's harder to get past all that. So I... Uh, I enjoyed it for the small amount of time that I played it recently. Uh, my buddy he tries to get on me all the time to get me to play. Dust Insane, look for that name. It's like Dust Insane 187 or something like that. I don't know. Um, but it's, uh, it's a game that I, I don't know if I'll go long term into it, but he definitely does. And I enjoy hearing him talk his crap to people. <laughs> while he's thrashing on them. So one of these days I'm thinking about videoing that. I think I mentioned that already. Just to share with you guys what it uh, what it sounds like when he's going all, all crazy on somebody. So, you know. Anyways, that's about all I've got. And I just wanted to get that uh, share out there with the free comic book day. I think I'm going to leave it at that. I don't think I'm going to do the last part of it. Oh, you know what? I do have one other thing. Sorry guys, I keep uh, wanting to call it call it quits, but I forgot I got a mail call today, man. I just happened to look over and see it hidden underneath some stuff, so holy balls. I forgot about my mail call. Mail call. Get up in that. Terrible packing job. Started watching The Jungle Book with my daughter as well. And uh, that's actually been a really cool movie as well. So, very entertaining. And the kids, I can say for certain, love that one. So, she has been all about that movie. <laughs> if you haven't checked it out, you might want to. It's a good one. Great place to go. I don't know if I've mentioned it in the past. I'll mention it now. PrimeWire.ag You can watch TV shows or movies at any time. Doesn't matter. So, primewire.ag, that is something you guys should check out. Because I do not do cable, I don't believe in paying them all that extra freaking money for stuff that, you know what, sometimes you can't even find anything good to watch on TV anyway. And with PrimeWire, I can always find something to watch. Here we go. Some good books right here. Spider-Man, issue number 252. Black Suit. And then the Inhumans, issue number one. This one, this one will end up looking pretty good when I'm done with it. Real nice copy. And then this one here. Oh, I like this one. This one's a solid copy. It's probably sitting around an 8 right now. So, that will bump up real nice. Alright guys, that is officially it. So, hope you enjoyed all the showing tonight. And hope you can use some of those tips. And, I will talk to you later. Deal King out. Peace.